where we reflect on what caught our eye. And you're up. Got a gut, shake it off with the man shame. I'm up first today. Okay, let's get us off to a good start. <laughs> now, people say that horses can't hear or when you yell at a horse, they don't know. They take things in. As a man called Jason Bonington found out, he was a bit negative towards the horse he was riding last week. Let's have a listen to Jason. I never said anything nasty about Buster, but if he had this competitive instinct when he was racing, uh, well, what, yeah, see, look, I mean, what could he have done? He was a very good horse. Yeah, but he has to carry you around, of course. He's going to be a bit wary. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oh. So you can't tell oh. me. We oh. might throw oh. back to the studio. He <laughs> you oh. can't tell me the horse didn't hear his disparaging <laughs> comments on that point. But I've never seen anybody <laughs> feel as uncomfortable on a horse since then. But <laughs> this man, Matthew Lloyd, oh. look at how much muscle this man is. He made Jason to look like Damien Oliver. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> 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 Come on, Lord. <laughs> 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 You're right. You're right. You're right. Worst thing I've had to do, oh, TJ. And you did just touch on it earlier that I was the only one that didn't call you during the week. That's because I had one left up myself. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. Now, there's no I in team. No. But I'm um, questioning our fearless leader after this interview with Neil Mitchell a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no. Do you remember the Sunday footy show starting? Yeah, I remember walking into Ian Johnson's office saying, look, I hear a whisper that there's going to be a, a footy show starting up. I'd obviously love to be a part of it. And I'll never forget Jono. He looked at me and he said, we wouldn't do it without you, Tone. We had a boardroom meeting and David Leckie was then in charge of Channel 9. He was about to act the Sunday footy show. And I said, look, I think I can save it. I did make oh, some no. changes. Were you hosting me? No, I wasn't. I was producing and Gary Lyons was hosting. I changed the set. I put them back in suits. We got the show back on track. So I produced it for some time and then they said we were going to host it. So I hosted it for a while and the show survived. So anyway, no one else is going to tell that story. Oh, 16 <laughs> references to yourself in 30 seconds. Well, I did single-handedly save the show and give you blokes a job. Um, but I'm, I'm more concerned. Can you just put the screen up again that you had there? Yeah. In future, can we use a better photo than that one, please? I mean, that was in my fat days. Anyway, well done, Lordo. Thanks, TJ. Oh, it's me. It's me. Now, I, I saw this. Now, Channel 7, let's be honest, right? Channel 7, they do a pretty good job with the footy. I mean, <laughs> right? They do a good job. But I think they should respect Matthew Richardson a little bit more. Look at that. 800 goals for Essendon. Matthew Richardson. Now, you've got to be better than that. Damo, surely. I mean, when you're putting those supers up with the description, you've got to be better, don't you? It's always dangerous when you highlight other people, TJ. I don't know where you're going to go with that. Oh, <laughs> um, there it is. Okay. Okay. Kane? Kane, I mean... You'll be, yeah, you'll be really switched on. Yeah, sure. so how switched on should you actually be there? I mean, because normally when you put these supers up, it's to highlight something that you're really well known for. So mm. what would you expect, Lordo? <laughs> Gold mark out. of the year, those sort of things. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, of course, uh, then we come to you. I mean, what, what could we possibly do for you, Nath? Um, so I mean, it's very hard to sort of wrap you up just in, uh, <laughs> oh, in yes. one particular. So that's, that's, that's accurate, of course. You've got to get the supers right. It's 2005 as well. Yeah, OK. And then, of course, a Vegemite fan. And uh, there's that one. <laughs> <laughs> what would yours be, TJ? Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that I could come up with there something. There you go. Um, it's very important you do your research. Uh, as I found out when I interviewed former Manchester United superstar All Night Dwight. Dwight Yorks, have a listen. The last time Man United played in Melbourne was in 99. They took on the Socceroos. Were you involved in that? Were you, were you part of that group? So you didn't do your research back then. Okay. <laughs> Didn't do my research, so I found out the hard way, as did Nathan <laughs> Brown when he was interviewing Taylor Walker last week. I mean, guys like Schoenberg, Scholl, they keep stepping up. Obviously, Himmelberg in the forward half. So you're getting performances from pretty much everybody without anybody being amazingly outstanding. Yeah, Scholl was pretty good on the weekend, wasn't he, Brownie? He certainly was. Yeah, oh, I like no. the way he's sharp, kicked a couple, uses the ball well. No. He didn't play. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. I'm looking back at the <laughs> 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 Over a five week 
three-week period. And I was looking back at the stats, and I had the Port Adelaide showdown, and he went okay that day, and uh, he set me up a beauty. No, I just so. love the way there when you sort of asked the question, yeah. and he said he was pretty good. You're sort of like this, and then he said he didn't play. Suddenly there was like little, yeah. little, little, little twitch developed. <laughs> the boys loved it too. What is happening? Oh, what is oh, happening? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Kane. Oh, 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 um, I need to preface oh. this by saying you're my favourite media oh, performer, oh, and I love how you go where no one else dares to go. Don't worry about the cover off, Dave. We have to cover this off, Brownie, because TJ last because it does create a drama every single week. Not a, not a day goes by for you, Kane, without you don't finding a new enemy. Now, one bobbed up out of absolutely nowhere a few weeks ago. The, the, the nicest person in footy, Cameron Ling, and Mr Geelong, basically, the king of Geelong, had this out of nowhere to say about you. Yeah. He, he pitchforked you back into this conversation yeah. around Walsh and yeah. Rosie. So that was out of nowhere. You, you weren't happy, and no. you just eased into your revenge on, uh, on Lingy <laughs> this way on the subsequent Sunday footy show. He came after me a little bit, Lingy. Why? I don't know. What did he say? He had an opinion against you. For the first time, he had an opinion. So, oh. no, it was... No. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 we're. Now, you weren't happy with that. You then sort of regrouped and you gave him both barrels the very next week. So this is Lingy, 2012, <laughs> when he joined the media. And this is his opinion. <laughs> So nothing, 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 <laughs> nothing until 2022 when he had a crack at me. Now, big media announcement during the week, TJ. You would have seen it. Cameron Ling now joining the K-Rock Breakfast crew, which means oh. he's going head-to-head -head with our man Kane <laughs> on Breakfast Radio. Oh, They're yeah. massive markets. Now... It needs to be sorted out, Lord, in the old-fashioned <laughs> boxing parlance. Now, you, you revealed that he was 48 kg soaking wet. So, so Lingy's got you covered on, on weight, oh, on mate. chest size. Inverted. What? You've got him covered on media equipment, uh, Kane, because you just have to do everything Hutchie asks you to do. Lingy's got you covered on premierships, and you might have a comeback there on opinions. Uh, so you have to sort this out for now. Yeah, very good. We, we made him. Didn't we? Oh, Didn't I think you've certainly rejuvenated his yeah, career. There's absolutely. no doubt about that. So he's on K Rock. No, he's so cool Rock and Lingy. And, uh, and you're still treading water on SEM. Exactly. Good exactly. guy, Lingy. He'll all right, good stuff. Well, well done. You happy with that? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it was pretty good.